Hey guys, it's lovely. Today is another random video. I have already talked about my current English teacher quite a bit. Man, my school is like run by liberals. All the English department is very, very liberal. I think there's only like one outspoken Republican here and he's the best, honestly. <laughs> but I had English class today and we were reading some essays, because that's what he does. He likes to read our essays and criticize them in front of the class. Now, he didn't read my essay. That's not what we're talking about. We're going to talk about some kid who wrote this essay, which basically our prompt was about success. We could connect it any way we want. There's really no wrong answers in this class, I guess, which I actually like. Because in most other English classes... Teachers tend to only grade you based on what they believe. In this class, you can believe anything. He's going to call you out on it like he did today with this one kid. I don't think the kid intended to do it either. Because, again, very liberal school. Uh, any of our microaggressions are not really intended. That's why they're microaggressions. But basically, with the uh, success quote that we had, something Ralph Waldo Emerson said about uh, the something about how an acorn becomes a thousand forests. Um, the kid used various examples in his, um, in his essay, and one of the examples was the civil rights movement, specifically Rosa Parks. Um, I don't really, like, like, do you guys watch Drunk History? Because, like, after I watched that show, I was... It was fucking mind blown because I mean she didn't even she didn't even do that shit. She just copied some other chick whose name I always forget. But she copied some other chick because they thought it'd be more marketable for their freaking boycott. Which is like r really you're gonna you're just gonna copy someone and take it away from there. So Rosa Parks deserves none of the things named after her, actually. No streets should be named after her. No parks should be named after her. None of that, because she's a copycat. Um, that's, that's not the point of this video. So if you guys saw the video where I talk about how I'm an old white guy, ugh, I'm an old white guy again, as my teacher claims, because we ended up talking about racial inequality just for a few minutes. But he, the kid's essay basically said, you know, they got success from the boy, bus boycott after Rosa Parks did that, which is true. I mean, everything the civil rights movement did in the past was very good. It showed a lot of the actual racial discrimination and inequality in America. Um, now... With Black Lives Matter, no, that's not the same thing. And I think the teacher was trying to equate Black Lives Matter to the civil rights movement. But I was just, no. He didn't He didn't say it outright, but he's like, don't you guys watch the news? Yes, we watch the news, obviously. He's like, you know, Ferguson, Trayvon Martin, all this other shit. Well, he actually said that. Uh, you know, Dallas... I mean, he said all of that. He was giving examples and like, you know, it's not like racial inequality was uh, destroyed after the civil rights movement. Yeah, PC principle. Of course it wasn't, obviously. But we've come pretty damn far. <laughs> um, and I mean, uh, come on, like, I'm a minority. So obviously, if there's all this racial discrimination that they're talking about, then I think I would be able to see it. Uh, maybe I'm just so comfortable in the suburbs that it just doesn't affect me. Or maybe I am just too wide on the inside that I don't care. But, I mean, I would I would expect to notice it. I have noticed it before. It's not that big of a deal because it's nothing big for me. I mean, it's within my own race. My own race is... So it's like, um, hey, you know, think about it next time. More racial inequality comes from your own race. Uh, as this guy, I mean, the teacher's white. He's 
condemning whites, talking about all this white guilt and shit. And I'm here like, you, you don't think that's, you don't think that's racist at all? Really? You, you don't think that, that saying white people, um, you know, should feel a certain way towards it or that they can't talk about a subject? Because immediately after he talked about it, he's like, I, I can't talk about this, you know, the way... A black person would talk about it. He, I'm like, you don't have to justify that. I mean, I like uh, talking about freaking uh, serial killers, but that doesn't mean I'm a serial killer. Does that mean I have to justify my reasoning? I mean, there's lots of things I like to talk about. I love music and I like talking about it. It doesn't mean I have to be in the music industry. It's, it's stupid things like that. You don't you don't have to be a certain thing to justify talking about a topic. Except when it comes to race and religion, apparently. And and women, of course. Um, but he's just, he's saying, oh, there's so much racial inequality in America today. Are you, are you sure? Would you rather go back to the 50s then? Really? Would, would you really? Is there so much racial inequality in this country? Like, there, there's not anybody who's you know, a rich minority, there's no poor whites, there's, there's, there's nothing, it's just whites at the top, minorities at the bottom, racial inequality. I mean, it's, it's stupid to think that way. How are you saying there's so much racial inequality here? Because there honestly isn't. And then he said after that, you know, people like to say that uh, we're not a racist country when Obama is our president. But, you know, that doesn't erase racial inequality and discrimination. No shit. No fucking shit. No one's saying it's going to be erased. It's never going to be erased, actually. You'd have to uh, be in a perfect society, and then you'd have to consider the fact that people think anything is racist. I'm not kidding. I was in middle school once. I had this black friend. <laughs> As if, yeah, like... I don't know, she, she, I don't know, she's just kind of black power-ish. The whole time, you know, I mean, I'm quite outspoken about the fact that I think uh, black people are very racist with my friends. And, you know, she knew that. And she also didn't consider me black because, you know, weirdly, being half race makes you not, doesn't make you black or your other race or whatever <laughs> it just doesn't so you don't equate with people you know of the full race you're not purebred i guess and she didn't like that either also i was prettier than her so of course people are jelly but i mean that's stupid that obama is president that doesn't mean racism is erased of course we know that already all right, and with all these butthurt people, of course, it's never going to be erased. I don't, I don't understand people who think equality can be achieved in that way. They, like, do, do you not know what life is? Life's not fair. But, I mean, look, if we were such a racist country as, as my teacher says, Obama would not be president. He would not be president right now. I'm sorry. He would not be president because, of course, we're such a racist country that we can't have a minority as our fucking president. I mean, I don't understand how he thinks that that argument is stupid because it doesn't, no one's saying racism is a race. We're just saying the way people portray racism in America is, is stupid when we do have the person in charge of us, the president, He's a black dude. <laughs> all right? Like, come on. So, um, that's all I wanted to say. I guess. English class is just fucking great because I get so much liberalism. And I just, I want to laugh in that class so bad. I want to just raise my hand and be like, shut the fuck up, mister. Just shut the fuck up. Because you're so stupid. <laughs> but, you know, then I'd be called close-minded, of course. So, better not to do that. Mm, that's, yeah, that's all. Thanks for listening. Bye.